Good morning everyone. I hope you are all well. We have a lovely Bible story for you today about two twin brothers. And this is how the story goes. It's about Jacob and Esau. Isaac and Rebekah had twin boys called Esau and Jacob. They were very different. Esau had red hair and was very hairy. He was a skillful hunter and loved being outdoors with his bow and arrows. Jacob was a quiet man who liked staying at home with his mother Rebekah. He loved cooking. He had a big cooking pot and made wonderful soups and stews in it for the whole family. Esau was born first, which meant that when his father died, Esau would be given all that his father owned and a special blessing. Jacob secretly wanted to be the one to get this, so he planned to trick his brother. One day, when Esau came home from hunting, he was very hungry. He could smell a delicious stew that Jacob had been cooking. It was made of lentils and beans. Can I have some of that stew? Esau asked Jacob. Only if you promise to let me be the one who gets Dad's special blessing, said Jacob. Esau couldn't resist the stew any longer. So he promised to let Jacob have their father's blessing and all he owned. Esau only cared about his hungry tummy. Jacob was very pleased that his trick had worked. When their father Isaac was very old and almost blind, Jacob pretended to be Esau and tricked his father into giving him the special blessing. Esau was so angry, Jacob had to run away from home. It was many years before he saw his brother again, but when they met, Jacob was sorry for the tricks he had played. Esau forgave his brother and they became friends again. I hope you enjoyed that story. We did a puppet show for you about Joseph and there were a few similarities in this story. It was brothers again and it was about jealousy. In this story, Jacob was jealous of Esau that he had, was the firstborn and was going to get the blessing. And so he acted very badly. And we also did the Ten Commandments. And one of those commandments are not to desire something that someone else has. And Jacob did just that. But at the end of the story, we saw the brothers come together and hug and love each other. And Jacob apologized. He saw that he had done wrong. And Esau loved his brother and forgave him. Let's hope we can all be like that. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for these lovely Bible stories that you've given to us to teach us how to live our lives. And Lord, help us to forgive those who do us wrong. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. Bye.